Okay, I think that's recording. Okay, so wedging. Here we go. Uh, wrong shirt. One moment. Okay, so wedging. Getting our clay ready to work with. So what I've got here is the stuff that I was throwing with earlier today. Um, and a few chunks of some stuff I pulled out of the reclaim bucket and already started uh, wiggling around here. So I want to get this clay ready to work with. And to do that, we got to actually wedge the clay. Uh, wedging is the process that gets the uh, homogenization of the clay ready. So it takes all those little clay particles, um, which on average are sort of like little disc shapes. They're all and they're all mixed up together in unmixed clay. And as you wedge the clay, it actually takes those particles that are all woogly and slowly knits them together. So you get something that's much more strong and flexible and plastic. So what I'm going to start with is the ram's head wedging. So I'm just taking that clay, moving it up on its side, and pushing it down until it gets this sort of sausagey shape. You take the ends, fold them in, turn the whole thing up on its side, and repeat the process. And this is just sort of the rough wedging, the initial wedging that you uh, do before you start throwing on the wheel. This is very good for the arms. <laughs> the gun show. No. So what I'm starting to do now is the spiral wedging. And what this does is it sort of primes the clay and gets it ready to throw with. So as I'm doing this, I you can see it's starting to develop this nice little spirally pattern going there. So I'm lifting the clay up, pushing it down, rotating it around slowly and upwards. Push down again, rotate until you get this sort of rhythm going. This is a very valuable skill to have, especially if you uh, are small time and can't afford something fancy like a pug mixer. My teachers would make me do this all by hand just for hours and hours and hours at a time. With the idea that, you know, first you learn the most difficult way to do something, then you can upgrade to the fancy technology like the pug mixer. You can see that neat spiral starting to happen there. And depending on how, uh, how much mixing your clay needs, if it's like a lot of dry particles and wet particles, it's going to take a while to get this all together. Now this is starting to feel nice and homogenous. It's got that wonderful spiraling happening there. So what I'm going to do to prepare it for actually throwing is I'm going to slowly decrease the size of my spirals. Just a little less with each turn until I slowly start getting it into a cone shape. And this is what I would go ahead and just thump down onto the wheel. And that's the uh, basics for wedging. Yay! Have fun!